Let me ask you this. You know, the laser, what would you say to... is the most, the most repeated false point in the gun control narrative right now? If you had to zone in on, like, on one, and we can go to number two and three, but what would you say is most important for people to know? I suppose maybe the simplest thing is just how do you make comparisons across places? So you'll see uh, uh, people say, well, look, the United Kingdom has very strict gun control. Very few guns are owned. Uh, and yet, and they have a low uh, homicide rate compared to the United States. And and they say, therefore, that means that it's the strict gun control that's causing the low crime rate there. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is that if you look before they had the gun control laws, they had an even lower homicide rate. Right. That when they passed the different gun control laws, their homicide rate went up. It was still lower than the United States. But given that it was even lower before they had the gun control laws, it's hard to go and say they have a low homicide rate because of the gun control laws. There's right. obviously other things that vary across countries and places that are accounting for the difference there. Well, I and feel as though they've moved even away from that. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but again, we deal in this, this world quite a bit with, with Vox and with uh, you know, HuffPo, and of course they point to the Australian mandatory buyback they don't tell you it's a mandatory buyback you know because no one wants to take your guns away by the way in case you were paranoid but um they've moved away it seems from from for example gun homicide uh they've moved entirely just to gun related homicide because the violent crime rates are actually worse in a lot of these countries with strict gun control we see well, the murder rate yes yeah, and so i mean a lot of countries don't report murder rates right uh and also one of the things is that there's a much bigger difference between homicides and murders in the United States than there is in most other countries. We have people defend themselves more here in the United States. And so you have, uh, you know, a bigger gap that's there. But you mentioned the Australia stuff. The Australia stuff, you know, I don't know, hoax or whatever. It's just complete misinformation. So I'll just give you a simple example. They'll go and they'll say that, uh, firearm homicides were lower after the 96, 97 buyback than they were before. But, and that's true. But the thing is, it was falling for 15 years prior to the buyback, and it was falling afterwards, but at a slower rate. Right. And so, you know, if it were falling at a faster rate or there was a kind of a big downward jump right at that time, it would make more sense. But if it's falling before, I mean, if, if you have a straight line, and it's falling over the entire period, you could pick any year, right. and the after average would be below the before average. You mm -hmm. wouldn't take that as evidence that uh, any of those years were somehow crucial for changing the levels that were occurring there in terms of uh, firearm homicides. The other thing is, that's never mentioned, it's true they had this big buyback, about a third of the guns were bought back in 96 and 97, but people were then able to go out and buy guns again. And by 2010, the gun ownership rate in Australia was actually above what it was prior to the buyback. So if, if they're right about this, what you should have seen is a big, sharp, immediate drop and then an increase right. over time. And that's not what you observe. Well, uh, we've written about that quite a bit. And isn't it also true that you see the same trend in New Zealand, which would be the most comparable country as well during that same period of time, and they didn't have the mandatory buyback? Yeah, well, you definitely, exactly right. You don't see it in terms of the mass public shooting. I mean, you see, you see the same trend in terms of mass public shootings. Right. Uh, look, uh, New Zealand actually had a bigger drop in uh, the rate of mass public shootings at the same time than Australia did, and yet they didn't pass any laws that would be related to this. Exactly.